And we continue this fascinating conversation with Dr. Mark Hitchcock, the author of Blood Moons Rising, a book you've got to get, but don't order it yet. Listen to what he has to say in the next three minutes and you will be blessed and encouraged. Uh, Mark, as we continue to talk about this, there are these time frames going all the way back to 1492-93 where there have been these blood moons and some degree of association with the Jewish people and later the nation of Israel. Unpack that for us. That's right. These, these blood moon tetrads where you have four blood moons, four total lunar eclipses happening on these Jewish feast days goes back to really the, the, one of the main ones that started this. In 1493 and 1494, there were these four blood moons. And that happened right after 1492, obviously, which was the expulsion of the Jews from, the, from Spain. Of course, after that, the, the United States was, or Americas yeah, were discovered. Well, yeah. So a lot of people say, well, look, there was a, a, these blood moons happened right in conjunction with a great event with Israel. Then you go to 1949, 1950. That was a, the, the next one of these great tetrads that took place. And that's right after 1948 when Israel became a nation, the modern state of Israel, May the 14th of 1948. Then you had another one in 1967 and 68 when the Six-Day War occurred in June of 1967 yeah. and the Jews, Jewish people retook the city of Jerusalem. Go on so, yeah. yeah, so people say, well, it happened in 1493, 94, 49, 50, 67, 68. Here we are again in 2014, 15. Some great event will happen for Israel. The, the caution I always give for this is though in 14, 1993 and 94, the blood moons happen after the big event. And the same thing in 1949 and 1950 happened after what happened in Israel in 1948. So I think we want to be careful to not become date setters. Yeah. Because I think some have, I think, have kind of fallen into the trap of saying something major has to happen in Israel in 2014 and 15. Can't do that. You know, this could even be the time of the Lord's coming. We have to be careful and avoid that, that trap, I think. So I appreciate your caution. Uh, at the same time, I appreciate the fact that you raise it as an issue because you don't want to uh, discount it mm -hmm. because there are already in alignment so many prophetic signs that tell us mm -hmm. that the rapture of the church, or as we would call the first stages of that second coming of Jesus Christ, is, is on the horizon and, mm -hmm. and could happen at any moment. So when you look at this, this is by no me reason to fear if you're a Christ follower. Right. It really is a reason to rejoice and to, to celebrate that God's at work. That's right. All the things we see happening in our world today, I, I say, are setting the stage. Uh, the stage is being set uh, for the coming of Jesus Christ. And if we do know the Lord, then that's our hope. That's the only hope this world has. Right. But if someone doesn't know Christ, then they need to turn to Him and come and receive that pardon that He purchased for them at the cross. You will see on our screen not only a phone number that you can call to get this book, and I hope that you will, Blood Moons Rising. It's a great book. And we're going to continue the conversation. But there's also a number on the screen. If you do not know Jesus Christ as your Savior, there's a prayer line, a care center where people are there praying for you and will pray with you for you to understand what it means to come to know Jesus savingly, to understand how He only can change your life. This book is about the prophetic timeline of the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. And we need to be ready. We need to be ready. And knowing Jesus is the first step. Give us a call either for the book or to know more about our Savior. 888-825-5225. 